Hi, my name is Antonio Condoli, and I'm a father and a grandfather and a caregiver. And I am just going to uh, speak on how I feel about the overturning of the Roe versus Wade decision by the Supreme Court. Um, I have a lot of mixed views about this. One is that I do believe in life, but over that I do believe that people have the right to choose what they want to do in their lives. I have problems with understanding how people can dictate what you can do with your body. And then the government um, is going to support that decision, um, especially when there's no exceptions being granted in many of the states in the United States, there's no exceptions for circumstances that uh, arise. Um, by no means do I believe that someone who is raped should have to be forced to carry a child and bring it to birth. When I have firsthand knowledge of having deal dealt with social work situations where I have had parents who did not like the child because they could not deal with the origin being their father. So with that having been said, I've had to deal with trying to mend families where the love did not exist because the child was not conceived in love. The child was not even conceived in like. So I've had to deal with that. But by the same token, you have to deal with the fact that a child born under those kind of conditions don't have complete connectivity because they have no connection to their, their biological parental side of the family because um, not by the, what, the, the will of the mother, but by the lack of knowledge. If a child is a uh, product of a rape or, or incest, the child is gonna live in darkness and, and suffer sometimes um, unnecessary or, or unrequired hatred or resentment from that parent. And I've heard that people state that they should have those children and then the world or the society would then step in and that child could be adopted. Um, but having worked as a social worker in uh, criminal um, child welfare, I, I know for a fact that there are thousands of foster children who do not get the opportunity to be adopted. And if we are going to subscribe to this particular philosophy, what are gonna happen to all of these children who are being born to people who do not want children or those children were products of incest or rape. Um, my other point is that I don't believe that we should choose the child, the life of an unborn child over the life of a person trying to give birth to a child. So if there's a situation where a parent, a mother rather, um, her life is in danger because she's carrying this child and, this, and, and the, they believe that you cannot doing a, a medical procedure that would save the life of the mother who would then be able to later on possibly give birth to a child as opposed to forcing her to carry this child and possibly lose her life and the life of the child that you were initially trying to save. Um, so for me, it, it has a lot of facets, um, but I, I believe that um, the women who make the statement that it's my body, my choice, are absolutely right. It is their choice as to what they want to do with their lives. And if you want to stand in the judgment seat or act like you are God, that is not your place because judgment is going to happen to all of us. So if you feel that it is a mortal sin for them to do that, then the judgment is going to be rendered with your, without your help. So I don't buy into people stating that, um, we um, need to do this because of religious reasons, because the Bible that I read tells me that I'm to judge not.